in a world where we're constantly encouraged to communicate, to explain ourselves, and to chase after what we want. There's a quiet power in stepping back and letting your absence do the talking. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that might challenge your usual approach to relationships. What really happens when you intentionally ignore a woman? Now, let me be clear. We're not talking about manipulative tactics, mind games, or unhealthy behaviors that are all too common in modern dating advice. What we're discussing is something much deeper. It's about how, with the right mindset and self-respect, creating a little distance can lead to profound changes in the way you're perceived, not just by her, but by anyone in your life. You see, there's a fine line between withdrawing as a tactic and stepping back with intention and purpose. When done right, it's not about trying to make someone miss you. It's about giving both of you the space to see things clearly. It's about rediscovering your own value and allowing others to do the same. This practice, when rooted in principles like emotional self-control and inner peace, draws directly from Stoic wisdom. The ancient Stoics taught us the importance of knowing when to act and when to hold back. And today, we'll explore how those teachings apply to the dynamics of modern relationships. I'll walk you through how practicing intentional silence or distance can elevate your presence, help you grow as an individual, and enhance the connection you're building, not through words, but through quiet confidence. By the end of this video, you'll have practical tools and a stoic mindset to navigate these moments with grace and strength. If you're ready to unlock this deeper understanding, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tap the notification bell so you never miss out on these insights. Let's dive in. Number one, the power of silence. Have you ever truly considered the impact that silence can have in your interactions? In a world constantly buzzing with notifications, endless conversations, and the pressure to respond instantly, silence stands out as a rare and potent tool. It's not just the absence of words, but a deliberate act of creating space. When you intentionally choose to remain silent, especially in the context of a relationship with a woman, you're doing more than withholding words. You're opening a door to introspection, not only for her, but perhaps more importantly, for yourself. This choice of silence disrupts her expectations. In today's fast-paced world, most people are conditioned to expect rapid responses. They anticipate reassurance, or at the very least, some form of confrontation when things are amiss. But when you remove yourself from this cycle of constant engagement, you create a noticeable absence. Suddenly, she's left to wonder, why is he not responding? What is he thinking? The mind naturally drifts toward filling the gaps left by your silence, sparking curiosity, intrigue, and a subtle but undeniable shift in power dynamics. However, it's crucial to recognize that this strategy isn't solely about her response. It's about something far deeper. It's about you. In choosing silence, you're granting yourself a moment to recalibrate, to regain your emotional balance, and to reflect without the noise of reaction. Often, we feel pressured to respond immediately, thinking that our worth is tied to how quickly we can resolve a situation. But true emotional power lies in the ability to pause, reflect, and respond only when it serves your higher purpose. Silence allows you to step back and understand that not everything requires an immediate reaction. Silence, in Stoicism, isn't a retreat, but a powerful form of self-discipline. It's a sign that you are in control of your reactions, mastering the art of not letting external events dictate your internal state. Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, emphasized this when he said, it's not what happens to you, 
but how you react to it that matters. By embracing silence, you're actively practicing one of the highest forms of self-mastery. You're not just choosing not to react, but you're choosing how and when to engage on your terms. In those moments of silence, you're doing more than reclaiming your power. You're demonstrating wisdom, control, and an understanding that true strength lies in restraint. When used thoughtfully, silence becomes a powerful statement of confidence, a tool that reaffirms your value, and a subtle yet profound way of fostering attraction by encouraging curiosity and emotional reflection in those around you. Number two, she starts questioning your value. Let's shift gears for a moment and consider how your silence affects her. When you decide to pull back and stop giving constant attention, something fascinating happens. She begins to question your value. It's a fundamental part of human nature. We tend to overlook what is always available to us. When you were constantly present, responding to every message, fulfilling every need, you likely became a predictable part of her daily life. Something she expected, something routine. But the moment that presence is withdrawn, it disrupts her expectations and forces her to wonder, what's going on? What changed? In her mind, this sudden absence stirs a sense of curiosity and intrigue. She begins to wonder why you're not reacting or behaving as you used to. And it's in this moment of questioning that her perception of you starts to shift. She may begin to reassess how she views you, perhaps with a newfound respect or a deeper interest. Your value, which may have seemed fixed in her mind, suddenly becomes uncertain. And in that uncertainty, she may realize that she's been underestimating your worth all along. What's key to understand here is that you haven't changed. It's her perception of you that's evolving. Your absence creates a space for her to reflect on what she might have taken for granted. This is where the real intrigue sets in. The value she may have once overlooked or taken as a given now stands out and it's no longer something she feels entitled to. This aligns perfectly with the philosophy's teachings on self-worth and value. Stoicism teaches us that our true worth isn't dependent on external validation or the opinions of others. Your value isn't something that fluctuates based on someone else's acknowledgement or lack thereof. Instead, it's rooted deeply in your character your principles, and your internal virtues. By choosing not to chase after validation or give constant attention, you're reinforcing a powerful stoic belief that dignity is something to be safeguarded, not given away lightly. This quiet confidence, this refusal to constantly seek approval or attention makes others, including her, take notice. It's in your absence that your true value becomes clearer to those around you. What you're doing is reinforcing a timeless truth, that your worth is inherent and doesn't rely on external acknowledgement. And as you hold on to this inner strength, she will inevitably start to recognize and appreciate it more deeply. If you're finding these insights helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd also love to hear your thoughts. What's your take on how someone's absence can shift another person's perspective? Leave a comment down below and share your experiences or questions. Your feedback not only helps build our community, but also sparks valuable discussions. Number three, you gain emotional control. Here's where the true benefit of stepping back becomes evident. It's not just about how she perceives your absence, but about what it does for you. By intentionally choosing to ignore someone, especially in the context of a relationship, you're gifting yourself something invaluable, emotional control. Often, we find ourselves trapped in a cycle of emotional dependency, reacting to every word, action, or mood change from the other person. 
This constant reactivity can lead to exhaustion and emotional instability. But when you consciously decide to take a step back, you break free from that cycle and practice something far more powerful, emotional detachment. In choosing to ignore, you're not acting out of spite or coldness. Instead, you're deliberately creating the space you need to process your emotions with clarity. In those moments of silence, you're no longer driven by impulse or emotional turbulence. Instead, you give yourself the chance to ask important questions. Do I really need to respond right now? Are my emotions clouding my judgment? Is this issue even worth engaging in, or would it be wiser to simply let it go? This pause allows you to assess the situation rationally, without the fog of emotional intensity distorting your view. Ignoring someone in this context is not about being indifferent or distant. It's about being intentional. You are reclaiming your power to respond thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. You are mastering the art of emotional detachment, a skill that is deeply valued in Stoic philosophy. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca wisely observed, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Our minds have a tendency to amplify situations, to make them seem bigger or more catastrophic than they really are. When you're caught up in emotional storms, it's easy to overthink, to react impulsively, and ultimately to make things worse. But by choosing silence, by stepping back and not reacting immediately, you give yourself the gift of clarity. You are able to see the situation for what it is, not what your emotions make it out to be. In practicing this form of emotional detachment, you're doing more than ignoring someone. You're actively reclaiming control over your emotional state. You're allowing yourself the freedom to act from a place of strength, where your decisions are guided by reason rather than by emotional impulses. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, to remain centered, composed, and in control, regardless of external circumstances. In those moments of silence, you are not retreating from the world. You are simply choosing to engage with it on your own terms, with a clear mind and a balanced heart. By ignoring the immediate pull to react, you give yourself the power to navigate situations with grace and strength reinforcing your emotional resilience and, ultimately, your peace of mind. Taking a step back from immediate reactions is no easy task, but it's in these moments that we truly reclaim control over our emotions. As you reflect on this, think about how often you've been swept up in the heat of the moment, responding without thinking, only to later wish you had taken a moment to pause. Now, Consider the power in choosing not to react. What could that space of silence do for you? I encourage you to reflect on this practice of emotional detachment. Leave a comment sharing your thoughts or simply type, I choose clarity over chaos, as a reminder of this powerful stoic principle. Number four, her desire for you increases. Here's an intriguing paradox that often catches people by surprise. By giving her less of your attention, you may actually end up getting more in return. It sounds counterintuitive, but it's grounded in a deep understanding of human nature. Think about it. When someone is always available, they become predictable. Predictability can create a sense of comfort, and while comfort is important in relationships, too much of it can diminish desire. Desire thrives in moments of uncertainty, in the space where predictability fades and curiosity begins to grow. When you choose to create distance, you're not just pulling back physically or emotionally. You're creating a kind of mystery. Suddenly, your presence isn't guaranteed, and that makes it more valuable. When you're not always there, she begins to notice your absence. This isn't about playing games or manipulation. 
It's about understanding that absence can sometimes reignite attraction. She starts to wonder what you're up to, why you're not reaching out, and whether she may have taken your constant attention for granted. In creating this distance, you give her the space to miss you. She's no longer comfortable in the certainty of your presence, and that unpredictability can rekindle her desire for you. By stepping back, you allow her to experience life without you for a moment, which can lead to a greater appreciation of what you bring into her world. This absence creates an opportunity for her to reflect on how much she values you, and in many cases, it intensifies her desire to reconnect. Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, once taught that people tend to value what they don't have. This insight holds true in relationships as well. When you withdraw your constant attention, you're not playing hard to get, but rather, you're allowing space for natural appreciation to grow. You're offering her the chance to reflect on what she might be missing in your absence. It's a reminder that desire is often fueled by scarcity, not abundance. This doesn't mean you're being manipulative or intentionally distant to create a false sense of value. Instead, it's about understanding that sometimes people need space to realize the true worth of what they have. Your absence gives her the chance to understand that your presence isn't something she should take for granted. In doing this, you're reinforcing a key principle of Stoicism. Your worth is not defined by someone else's constant approval or attention. You're showing that you value your own time, your own presence, and that you're not afraid to step back when necessary. This quiet confidence, this willingness to allow space for reflection, is often what reignites attraction. It's not about doing more. It's about being intentional in when and how you engage, giving her the room to truly appreciate your value. Number five, she may seek validation. Once the distance has been established, it's very common for a woman to start seeking your validation. This reaction is a natural response when someone is no longer receiving the attention and reassurance they've grown accustomed to. In her mind, questions may begin to surface. Why isn't he paying attention to me anymore? Did I do something wrong? Does he not care? These doubts and uncertainties can often lead her to reach out more frequently, attempting to regain the attention she once took for granted. In this stage, it's easy to be drawn back in, especially if you see her making an effort to reconnect or seek validation from you. However, this is where emotional discipline becomes vital. Just because she's now seeking your attention doesn't mean you should automatically give it. It's not about playing hard to get or manipulating her feelings, but rather, it's about maintaining your self-respect and avoiding falling into old patterns of emotional dependency. What's important here is your response. The key isn't in withholding attention as a power play, but in ensuring that you don't become overly reactive to her sudden need for validation. You're not obligated to respond to every message or engage with every gesture. The decision to give your attention should be intentional, not reactionary. This is where Stoicism comes into play. Stoic philosophy teaches us to never base our sense of self-worth on external circumstances or the validation of others. Whether she seeks your attention or not, your value is something that comes from within, rooted in your own character, virtues, and sense of self. As Marcus Aurelius once said, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. In moments where she is seeking validation, remind yourself that your self-worth does not depend on her approval or attention. You remain grounded in who you are, regardless of external praise or recognition. In these situations, it's essential to hold on to your own perspective. 
Her actions are a reflection of her emotional state, not a reflection of your value. Whether she reaches out or pulls away, your worth is not tied to her behavior. Instead, focus on how you choose to perceive yourself. By remaining calm and centered, you're not just maintaining your self-respect, you're also demonstrating emotional resilience. In the end, this balance allows you to engage with her in a way that aligns with your own values and intentions, not out of a need for validation. You maintain control over your emotional responses, ensuring that you remain true to yourself. Stoicism reminds us that the opinions and actions of others should never dictate our self-perception. And by embracing this philosophy, you can navigate these moments of uncertainty with confidence and strength. Now, let's pause and reflect. How do we balance maintaining our self-respect with responding to someone seeking our attention? It's a fine line between honoring your own emotional boundaries and engaging in a way that's authentic to who you are. Take a moment to think about your own experiences in these situations. Have you ever found yourself being drawn back in when someone sought validation from you? How did you respond? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment down below or simply type, my self-worth is mine to define. Number six, you reinforce your independence. Choosing to ignore someone, especially when done with intention, is a profound way to reinforce your independence. This act is not about severing ties or pushing someone away. It's about making a clear statement that you are self-sufficient, whole, and complete on your own. You're showing that your sense of self-worth isn't tied to another person's attention, validation, or approval. By stepping back, you affirm that you don't rely on anyone else to make you feel complete. This reinforces a deep sense of emotional independence, which not only elevates how you see yourself, but also has a magnetic quality in relationships. Independence is attractive. When a woman observes that you're not clinging to her for emotional sustenance, it communicates a powerful message. You are strong, confident, and capable of thriving without constant reassurance. This kind of independence signals that you're someone who brings value to a relationship rather than seeking it out to fill a void. You're not there because you need her attention to feel worthy. You're there because you choose to be. In Stoic philosophy, true happiness and contentment are rooted within oneself. A Stoic doesn't look outward for fulfillment, but rather cultivates inner peace and self-sufficiency. The more you embrace this idea, the more you'll find that you don't need anyone else to complete you. You are enough as you are. As Epictetus famously said, he who is not a slave to his desires is truly free. When you stop craving external validation, you achieve a form of freedom that few experience. You become untethered from the emotional ups and downs that come with seeking approval from others. This inner freedom allows you to engage with others, not from a place of need or dependency, but from a place of strength and abundance. You are no longer reacting to external forces. Instead, you choose when and how to engage, fully aware that your happiness does not hinge on anyone else's actions. This makes you not only more attractive, but also more resilient in relationships. By reinforcing your independence, you demonstrate that you are in control of your own emotions, actions, and decisions. You're not waiting for someone else to dictate how you feel. This self-reliance creates a foundation for healthier, more balanced relationships, where you are not merely seeking validation, but offering your whole, confident self. In the end, this independence isn't about distancing yourself from others. It's about elevating your own sense of worth so that you can engage with the world from a place of inner strength and fulfillment. It's a reminder that you don't need anyone else to define your value because your true power and happiness come from within. 
Number seven, she begins to respect your boundaries. One of the most profound lessons that comes from consciously ignoring someone is how it helps you establish and reinforce your personal boundaries. By choosing not to respond to every text, every call, or every emotional trigger, you are sending a powerful message. My time, energy, and mental space are valuable, and I will not expend them on things that do not align with my principles and well-being. This isn't about avoiding communication or cutting someone off entirely. It's about selectively engaging in ways that preserve your emotional and mental integrity. By doing this, you set a precedent for how others should treat you, including the woman you're interacting with. When you demonstrate that you're not at the mercy of every beck and call, you show that you have self-respect and that you're not willing to sacrifice your peace for constant validation or emotional demands. This, in turn, often leads to her respecting those boundaries as well. She begins to understand that your attention is earned, not demanded, and that your time is valuable. Boundaries, when set clearly and consistently, communicate a high level of self-respect, which others will naturally respond to. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Setting boundaries is a manifestation of this principle. When you assert your boundaries, you're exercising control over your inner world, rather than allowing it to be dictated by external events or other people's expectations. You're affirming that your mental and emotional space is yours to protect, and no one else has the right to encroach upon it without your consent. This act of boundary setting also signals emotional maturity. You're showing that you don't need to be involved in every interaction or emotional fluctuation. Instead, you're choosing to engage on your terms when it aligns with your values and well-being. This creates a healthy dynamic where respect flows both ways. She respects the boundaries you've set and you remain steadfast in upholding them. By reinforcing your boundaries, you're cultivating an environment of mutual respect. You're demonstrating that you're not reactive or emotionally dependent on others' validation, but instead grounded in your own self-worth. Over time, this leads to deeper, more meaningful connections because it's built on a foundation of respect for each other's space, time, and emotional health. Boundaries are not barriers. They are the lines that protect your peace while allowing you to engage from a place of strength and authenticity. Now, it's time to reflect on how these principles have played out in your own life. Have you noticed a shift in how others respond when you assert your limits? Maybe you've experienced a deeper level of respect and understanding in your relationships, or perhaps you're still navigating what it means to protect your peace. Whatever your journey has been, I encourage you to share your story in the comments below. Your experience can inspire others who are working through similar challenges. And together, we can foster a community where mutual respect and self-worth thrive. Let's continue this conversation and learn from each other's growth. Number eight, it reveals her true intentions. When you stop being readily available, an interesting and often eye-opening thing happens. Her true intentions begin to surface. This shift in dynamics offers you a rare opportunity to assess the relationship at its core. Was she genuinely interested in building something meaningful with you? Or was she merely enjoying the attention and validation that your constant availability provided? Does she make an effort to reach out and deepen the connection? Or does she disappear the moment you stop responding immediately? By pulling back and allowing some distance, you're creating a natural filter to separate what's real from what's superficial. It's a powerful way to uncover the truth behind her actions. If she's genuinely invested, you'll see her making an effort, valuing the relationship enough to bridge the gap you've created. 
On the other hand, if her interest was more about convenience or ego, her lack of engagement will quickly become apparent. In this way, ignoring someone becomes less about detachment and more about discernment, understanding what lies beneath the surface. The Stoics often remind us that actions speak louder than words. Marcus Aurelius wisely emphasized that people's actions reveal their character. Words can be misleading or easily manipulated, but actions are a truer reflection of someone's intentions and values. When you step back and observe how she responds to your absence, you'll gain invaluable insight into her true motives. Does she reach out because she values you as a person, or does she move on, indicating that the connection wasn't as deep as it seemed? This period of distance acts as a test of authenticity. Those who truly care about you won't be deterred by a lack of immediate attention. Instead, they'll seek ways to reconnect and demonstrate that their interest goes beyond surface-level attraction. On the contrary, if she fades away or only resurfaces when she needs validation, it's a clear sign that the relationship wasn't built on genuine interest, but rather on the convenience of your availability. In observing her response, you're practicing a form of stoic wisdom by focusing on what you can control, your actions and boundaries, while allowing her behavior to reveal her true intentions. This clarity is essential for forging meaningful connections. It ensures that you're investing your time and energy in relationships that are built on mutual respect and authenticity, rather than fleeting attention or superficial interaction. By stepping back, you allow the truth to emerge naturally, without manipulation or pressure. Her actions in response to your absence will tell you everything you need to know offering you a clear picture of where you stand and whether the connection is worth pursuing. Number nine, you build patience and self-discipline. Let's be honest, ignoring someone isn't an easy task, especially in a world that thrives on instant gratification and constant connection. The pull to respond immediately to seek closure or reassurance can be strong but that's precisely what makes choosing not to react so powerful. It requires patience and self-discipline, both of which are rare but incredibly valuable traits in today's fast-paced environment. By resisting the urge to immediately respond, you are practicing a form of emotional restraint that strengthens your control over your impulses. In those moments where you feel the urge to reach out but consciously choose not to, you are actively building your capacity for patience, one of the core virtues of Stoicism. Patience is not about passivity or inaction. It's about cultivating the ability to wait for the right moment to act, rather than succumbing to the emotional need for instant gratification. This self-discipline not only serves you in relationships, but also becomes a foundational skill that can be applied to all areas of life, from work to personal goals and challenges. As Seneca wisely observed, he who suffers before it is necessary, suffers more than is necessary. This speaks to the unnecessary emotional turmoil we often create for ourselves by acting impulsively without giving ourselves the time and space to process situations clearly. By exercising restraint, by choosing to wait rather than react in the heat of the moment, you free yourself from this self-inflicted suffering. You're no longer driven by chaotic emotions or the need for immediate resolution. Instead, you're learning to operate from a place of calm, clarity, and inner strength. Patience and self-discipline are essential elements of Stoic practice because they help you master the art of emotional control. The more you practice these virtues, the more you learn to detach from external triggers, whether they come from people, situations, or circumstances. This kind of emotional independence is not only empowering, 
but it also brings a sense of inner peace because you are no longer at the mercy of external forces. In relationships, this ability to exercise patience and discipline can completely shift the dynamic. Rather than being reactive or driven by the need to constantly engage, you develop the strength to step back, assess, and decide when and how to respond, if at all. This places you in a position of emotional authority, where you are in control of your reactions and interactions, rather than being controlled by them. By building these skills, you're not just enhancing your relationships, you're laying the foundation for a life lived with purpose, focus, and resilience. Every time you resist the urge to react impulsively, you are reinforcing your emotional strength and deepening your self-mastery, aligning yourself with one of the key teachings of Stoicism, to remain steady regardless of the chaos around you. Number 10. Elevating Your Dignity and Value so, what truly happens when you choose to ignore a woman? The most significant outcome is that you elevate your own dignity and sense of value. Through practicing silence, setting clear boundaries, and reinforcing your independence, you're not only influencing how she perceives you, but more importantly, you're transforming the way you see yourself. This journey is about more than just altering relationship dynamics. It's about cultivating emotional control, self-respect, and inner strength. When you make the conscious decision to prioritize your well-being, to resist the temptation to react impulsively, and to hold firm to your values, you develop a deeper sense of self-worth. And as this inner shift occurs, you'll begin to notice a change in all areas of your life, not just romantic relationships. People will naturally begin to respect and value you more because they sense that you are someone who respects and values yourself. The practice of Stoicism teaches us that the ultimate goal is not to control others, but to master oneself. Stoicism emphasizes that true power comes from within, from mastering your own emotions, thoughts, and actions, rather than being ruled by external forces. This internal mastery is the key to elevating your dignity and value in any relationship. When you approach relationships from a place of inner strength and self-respect, you're no longer dependent on external validation. Your confidence and sense of worth are not tied to whether someone gives you attention or approval. Instead, you stand firm in the knowledge that your value is inherent and unshakable. This quiet confidence not only draws others toward you, but also sets a standard for how you expect to be treated. As you elevate your own dignity, you shift from seeking validation to embodying self-assurance. And that changes the dynamic in every interaction. You're no longer striving to prove your worth to others because you already know your value. This shift in mindset empowers you to engage in relationships on your own terms, with a deep understanding that your worth isn't contingent on anyone else's opinion. In the end, elevating your dignity and value is about mastering the most important relationship in your life, the one you have with yourself. By embracing Stoic principles, you are not only enhancing your personal relationships, but also creating a life of greater fulfillment, self-respect, and inner peace. You are learning that true strength lies in mastering yourself. And when you do that, everything else naturally falls into place. As we wrap up today's journey into the profound impacts of intentional silence and space in relationships, it's clear that sometimes less truly is more. By understanding and implementing the stoic wisdom of self-control and emotional independence, we've explored how stepping back can transform not just how others perceive us, but how we perceive ourselves. It's not about the silence itself, but what that silence allows us to rediscover in our own lives and values. Now, I'd love to hear from you. 
How has creating space in your relationships impacted your life? Have you experienced a shift in how others view you or how you view yourself? Share your experiences in the comments below. Your insights not only enrich our discussion, but also help others see the power of these principles in action. Don't forget to watch the recommended videos popping up on your screen right now for more insights into stoicism and relationship dynamics. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, sometimes the most powerful message you can send is not with words, but with the wisdom of your silence. Let's continue to learn, grow, and navigate the complexities of relationships together, armed with stoic principles that have stood the test of time.